gala sunyu dekala nyunyo chi warata hau katomba pakau ko ina demba bakau na kune parisi pet flag binau sakau he wal yitau amudelu gana wai sunyi de gasnye di sul dara do muna kulbul bale sakir gel mbalit sani simbeda bi magum je mayora lolom seben simbeda bi public smoking ak yenen he tu pollution feyal sa cigarette bi yang ma pollution bus fire bi barina need nine solution deforestation war nine di ko moy tu kom yang ku basa hon kana yi roli kuntu and a patriot see you when you get all out yeah so see you put your head in and see you no doubt in ko fek ci suñ adam bu feke ne o nga nit ñi ñu ñew don't have nay sax li tax ñu ñew nga fi jël len ko tay bes mbek te bu reey la fi ci l'hôpital way yemut fi rek fi ci bir farafegne yemut farafegne rek waye tund jo xamne moñu wor yemut ci lolu rek waye dekk yo xamne ñoñu wor ñu jall ba dem tund fi nga xamne moy tund man sa konko ñewati ci tundi makati ci dex ji ci souf mu nek bes dek te ci ni yep motax ñu wolé way kel fay dinañ ci waxtaan euh bu gëna ñu waxtu kep ko xamné yang fi ak sa sante way waxtu du ko meñ li ñuy def rek moy leen ñu ngi bismillah ki nga xamné mom lañ dëkk rew mi di chef ala haji mustafa diba mi nga xamne mo fi togal president of the republic of the gambia mo fi togal um commissioner mo fi togal kep ko xamne borom dombo tankala ci ñi nang gour gi mo len fi togal kon ñu ko bismillah lolu suñ ko defé dinañ bismillah ki nga xamné moy ali kali dekk bi mom suñ ko waxé rek moy alaji kitim diba wax nañ wa farafegne yeb donte buñ paré ci lolu buñ wo sa na cheikh saadu ñu ngi o bëpp su rafaaw bo xamné mu ngi farafegne ak liko wor fi nak tay jula yang fi ñay liggéey ci sen bureau yi ñu fi ñi nga xamne ñu ngi nek ci walu karange gi ñu ngi fi ñu yore walu banque bi ñomit ñu ngi fi kon nak ñu ngi leen di gërem yeen yëpp di leen sant di leen wax ne bismillah tay bes bi defa reey reey jo xamne kenn xamut fuñ koy laté li tañu wolen moy ne ñu ñew magal def ñaan li nga xamne doomi dekk bi judo fi yaro fi mag fi lije fi tek fi ñu ñew nak dimbalé askan ni dekk bi ci dimbal jo xamné ñun ci suñ bop jëm nañ wor nañ laccé nañ uti nañ ab asaka pour ñu def ko way mënuñ ko won yalla def nak ñom ñu ñew samp fi li nga xamne alhamdullilah sant yalla la mu nek bëre bo xamne fatabarf kala yokute la ak ar ndax xam nañ ne fi nga xamne fofu la jigen ni di muccu ñu bari dañ fay indi seni bok bu ñëwé nak a bir nek bi dafa xat te sot lañ fa sutura ñom duñuy am fu ñuy nek ci ay perom lañuy tedd fofu la taw bi di len fek fofu la len yoy di len fek lu nek fofu la len de fek ndax mëno indi sa bokk bay ko def yalla def nak ñu am tarang ju reey ji joge ko ci njabot dekk bi ñu 
ñu né légui li nañ ko fi samp ñu aar jigen yoyu motax ñu nit ñu né képp ko xamné di nga dégg suñ yox bu nga nga ñew ñun yépp ñu bokk ñaan ñaan suñ borom ci doole gi nga xamné fofu la joggé ko yalla yok doole bobu mu baña daanu ga ila yomi din wër gi nga xamné ci mom lañ ko amé yalla baye len wër gogu ak wër lé ngeen ñaan tamit benno bi nga xamné mo nek seen digënté kilfit gi nga xamné mo nek seen digënté ndax biñ ko commencé ba tay kenn ni rek fay ñoo muy seen kilifa di saytu liggey bi diko sakku diko dembe ko ba tay lolu nek na lo xamné lu jara roy la nek moy suñu kilifa lim wax lim bëgg lepp luñ bëgg def moko wara def bim soti baat bobu yalla bum dañ seen di gant li lañ len ho pour ngeen ñew waye kel fay dina ci tank all other protocols that are duly present here with us today i feel honored and privileged to be part of this auspicious gathering that is the inauguration of a waiting set built by the babu family As I stand here this morning, I am wearing two caps simultaneously. They are the cap of the regional governor, who is no other person than Mr. Lamin Sedikan, and indeed my own cap as the head chief of Upper Badibu District. I would first of all like to thank the CEO and his management staff for their foresight and their concern for our own people. They are concerned for the patient's escort. These, these are our own people. They want to see that they stay in this hospital during the admission of their relatives in a very conducive and convenient you know, uh, manner. This is why they thought of building a waiting set or a waiting house. But they cannot do this thing by themselves. They called out for support. They reached out to the immediate community. And thank God, the Babu family have responded. They didn't only respond, but they, they respond positively. Thank you, the Babu family. We are not surprised by your act. You were all born and raised in this Farafenya community. We know you. We know your parents. You are from a noble family, a responsible family, a family that are committed and dedicated to nation building. This is something, in a way, I could say is inheritance. You inherited it from your parents. So it is not a surprise. We thank you so much for your commitment, your dedication to nation building. And inshallah, there is no doubt that Allah will reward you abundantly for what you have just done not only for the hospital, but for your own uh, community members. I would sometimes say the question should not always be what did the present government have done for his people, for his citizenry? That should not always be the question. Rather, it should sometimes be the other way around. What have I contributed towards the building of my nation, towards the betterment of my people? And this is something that the government cannot do all by themselves. We need all hands on deck to develop our country. We need all hands on deck to see to read that our country is developed. So you have demonstrated 
a sense of responsibility. You have demonstrated a sense of commitment, a sense of dedication to nation building, to national development. So we commend you, we thank you so sincerely. And I have no true mind, I have no doubt that the structure you have put, put in this hospital would be properly maintained. We have the management who are focused, who are committed, who are dedicated. And their staff, obviously, are equally committed and dedicated to the betterment of the hospital. So I have no two mind that it will be well kept. Project proposals are being portrayed here. We've seen them. I do call on all philanthropists, the business community, to respond to these proposed project plans. It is in the supreme interest of you and I, our mothers, our brothers, and our sisters. At the end of the day, who knows who is going to be the next uh, patient admitted to this hospital? Only Allah knows. So whatever you realize from your business and you happen to plow back an amount, a token from that money to the hospital, it is a move in the right direction and it is a worthy cause. It's a noble cause for that matter. So I call on you. I challenge you as business men and women in this community to emulate the Babu family. This is our nation. This is our Farafenye. This is our North Bank. Nobody would come from nowhere or elsewhere to come and develop our immediate community for us. It is our collective responsibility to contribute our own quarter towards nation development. We convert here, or we invited you here today to inaugurate a very important project for the hospital. That is the escort waiting set or waiting house. This house is very, very important to the hospital for a number of reasons. I'll come to those reasons. But the background of this uh, waiting shed came way back from the previous management. They have conceived this idea that the way the escorts are displayed around the hospital does not tell well. And they came up with the idea to come up and build an uh, escort waiting shed. But the funds are not there. So they have to embark on fundraising activity. They tried it, as alluded to, by the PRO, but it couldn't work. I think this was time, the time of uh, CEO Samate at the time, but it could not work. When I came, we, we, we still see that uh, this is a very important project. Let's still pursue it. Because we cannot allow escorts to be lying down everywhere. We must have a confined place where we can keep them safely to protect them. So we tried through the efforts of the PRO and other management members, we engaged the Babu family. And thank God, they responded positively. That is what warrants us to be here today. And they single-handedly sponsored this project. Not a bullet of the hospital went in there. So this is a very important project for us. And the family, we can't thank you enough. We definitely appreciate and we are very grateful. Escorts in the hospital are very important. They are important in the sense that they play a pivotal role in the care of the patients that we are admitting, their loved ones. That's why we have to accommodate them. They need to be accommodated in a way that, that will also protect their health. So this project purposely came up for three main reasons. One, the escorts 
sometimes interrupt service delivery, especially during rains. When the rain is coming, they are not comfortable at the veranda, they will go into the wash. And that will affect the nurses and the doctors to perform their duty effectively. So this is one reason that's why this uh, escort house is very key for us. The second reason is we are doing this to protect their health. Because as the PRO said, when the rain comes, they are lying on these verandas. The rain will be beating them. The mosquitoes will be beating them. They can, they can acquire any infection from there. So this is why it is important for us to have a suitable place for them that will be convenient for them to relax and wait. When they are needed in the world, they are called to go and answer. So this is another reason why this escort house is very, very key. So the third one is comfort. We have to treat these escorts with respect. While they are here with us, they are here to complement our efforts. So they work with nurses to help the, the sick or the patients admitted. So we have to provide a comfortable zone for them so that they can comfortably relax and they will not go with any infection. We want them to come in here safe and go home safe. So that's why this initiative came up. And it is very important for us. So that's the reason why we, we invite all of you here today as stakeholders. You are stakeholders because this hospital, Parafenya General Hospital, is here to serve this region. It's the only referral hospital in the region. And its importance cannot be overemphasized. So it's, the, I mean, the, the responsibility of all of us to ensure this hospital, I mean, grows from strength to strength so that it can serve the need of the people in this region and even beyond. But we are serving people from Senegal. So the hospital is very important to all of us. Anybody can need the service of the hospital at any time. So it is important. That's why we invited all of you here to witness this very important I mean, event. And it's done by one family. And we have many other institutions here that can support the cause of the hospital. So we are calling on you to try and support the cause of the hospital for us to be able to deliver to your expectations. So before I conclude, I want to also project three different projects that the management has also designed to see how best we can improve. One is our accident and emergency unit is not the best to be desired. And management looked into it and we said, look, let's, let's look how best we can expand that place because it's only five bed capacity. And when accidents happen, it becomes very critical for us to manage that accident, uh, those victims. Because the place is so tight and on top of that, many people will want to come to see what is going on. And they just, I mean, Converge into the A&E and the nurses and doctors cannot do their work. So we want to expand this A&E to meet at least a minimum standard. From five beds, we want to increase it to ten beds. That will help us to be able to accommodate. In case there is any accident, we can manage them efficiently. So the accident and emergency unit, adjust it. Shady, you can adjust it from the floor there. Yes. So this is the design we have for the A&E. And currently what we have is not the best because uh, ambulances are just coming into the hospital to drop just at the gate to drop the patient to, go wheel, to be wheeled into A&E. That's not the ideal A&E. An ideal A&E is it should have a drop point, an exit point for the ambulance. So this is the design we have and we want to come up with this project to be able to expand our A&E. And make work easy for, for the clinicians who are working there. So we are calling on all and sundry to also try and support this course. This is one project that will add value to our service delivery. The next one is our maternity wing. Our maternity also is not, the structures are not definitely the best. We have, the wards are so tight, they are so small, and the labor rooms are so small, they are cubicles per se. Now we want to update these to standard 
delivery rooms, privates and suits, to make sure women deliver comfortably in their own rooms, where you have everything inside. So that's the maternity block, that the new block that we want to put up. And this will have theater upstairs. The theater and everything will be upstairs, and the postnatal high dependence will also be upstairs. The labor room will be downstairs, and the antenatal and gynae ward will also be downstairs. This is to make sure we meet up with the standards. So this is what is recommended, and we need to have this. But we don't have the funds to do so. So we have to partner to make sure we engage people who can support to at least have the best for the people of uh, North Park. Because whatever the people of Combo deserve is the same what these people are, the people of North Bank deserve. So this will bring a lot of value to our services if we are able to achieve this. The next one is, you know, we, we, we cannot have all these structures and we don't have the manpower to work in there. So accommodation is one of our biggest challenge as well. So we also embarked on another project to see how best we can improve on our accommodation facilities. This is a story, story building. So can adjust it down a bit? From that, no, 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 from the arrow down. Yes, go up. Yes, this is a 24 room uh, block. 24 rooms, and they are all end suits. All the rooms have their kitchen, toilet, and bedroom. So we want to make sure our staff that are, in fact, now if it is difficult for us to, I mean, be able to attract staff to come here. Because the first thing they ask is accommodation. Is it available? And if it is not available, most of them will change to other areas that they can have a comfortable accommodation. Comfort for staff helps them to perform better. So we are trying to work on this to make sure we have at least additional 24 rooms for accommodating our staff. So these are three projects that management is trying to embark on. We are advanced into it. All the proposals are ready. The bill of quantities are done. So we now have to engage the partners to see how best we can have funding to be able to come up with these projects. This is all geared towards improving the standards in the hospital. So on that note, I wish to thank you so much and have the honor and pleasure to welcome you all to this very important gathering. Especially from the hospital management because of the need I want to give you some few points. Then, I want to introduce you to the people who are here. I want to give you some of the people who are here. I want to give you some of the people who are here. I want to give you some of the people who are here. I want to give you some of the people who are here. I want to give Yang lain defna ni kat tu tengun. So domi ada mana glow muntah ni. So ni ke hundred years walang ni ni ke one year. Bis bonya ke sa papa lupa dia faham mangkis dia. Angai dem bangga ham ni lego dia ngat tengun. Ah semua papa suhi ni pon malu aku di walang muda faham mundi. Wah sains bunyi amoi. Dengan amat bu mat bu mat kelipa. Bunga ham ni mom dengan bayi mutrim ku silokom. Bunyau bunga ham ni Sun mak buat hari mui sun CEO bi, muka awak alim babu. Bum ame bum ni ke grade seven, lepas ia lirik ayah sun papa si business bi, bum ni ke grade seven. Bum dia kalau high school in 2004, lain complete lirik ayah papa bi si business bi. Sun CEO bi, wah degi ala nyun amu bos, nyun leader lain amu. Because mui punga kam ni, apa lu ni darah. Mau juga nak ligai, mau juga nak kahai, mau juga nak ligai, mau juga nak fokus di ligai ni. Bapa re privilege pun lupa bayar. So lor ini kau garam di kau sambil ni ni sah penyian sedia, mungkin ni anak kau mungkin mungkin fia mungkin ubir mungkin degar, mungkin kau degar. Lagi sunjuk esii hal abedi 
ñi ngi am yeneen business yu ndey doxal fi moy am nañ arafat in fi ni moy is a kind of in bu nga xamni suñu amé gan dekk bi su amé gan mu ñuy fa jël nek fa ñi ngi am benen li bu nga xamni moy tuddu babus food paradise bobu ci walu restaurant lay yëngatu té yépp is the family business té yépp mom moy suñu CEO ñu dal légui nak man dafa am lu nga xamni du ma mëna joggé fi té waxumako moy suñu wëlëré papa ñu nga xamni ñom ñoo ju gungé amna ko xamni tay mën na ñew tuddu ko moy alaji sangu jang jaay fi jappalé ñu ci côté bo bo ñu ko ci gëreem diko sante so légui nak suma ñëwé ci importance of unity gis nga society suñ nekké wax dëgg yalla ñu suñ society bi fi ni unity rek ñu mëna yëbbu kanam unity mo mëna yëbbu any society kanam du yëg gëreem dëgg 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 borom dëkk bi comme ça wa dëkk bi ñu xam ñoo sant ci dëkk bi boss dëkk so fa nekké lu dëkk bi di expandé xamal ni borom dëkk yi ñoo oppun ñoo oppun bugu gan ni ñi ñew liggéey bi dox duñ sonal kèn ci lenn to lolu lu important la ci dëkk lolu nak ben bugu mu wéy léna su ñëwé ci project mo xamni motax ñu ñëw fi tay moy affaire hospital bi hospital bi dañu ñëpp ci m ñëpp ta project bi ni ñu ngi wax ni babu family ñoko def way ñun luñ ko xolé moy yalla moko def because of yalla moñu jaarlé fuñu wara jaar ba paré mu jox ma nañ ma bi idea bi ba ay ma né ba ba idea bi ñëw suñun yalla nañu xol bu nga xamni wax nañ ba suñu manager ba suñu ceo bi ñoo defal ko loolu yépp yépp yalla la rek because doomi adama lepp lo def spécial ci lu ba xamal ci yalla la joggé because dafa jox vision té mëna nga jël xaal mo né ah boy li xaal mo ci def ni xaal mo tess ci lenen ak lenen ak lenen té loolu lepp lu doomi adama def xamal ni yalla mo ko ba def lo spécial ci lu ba so nak bala ma joggé fi dama bëgg gëreem su stakeholders yi maay commencé ci hospital bi hospital bi képp ko xam dekk lu moy doxé dekk ka dox fonso bi da do hospital spécial dekk bu mag ya hospital bi they are our partners because of they employ a lot of people da nga am ñu xalé ci staff hospital every day they come and buy from us one thing or two hospital bi ci bopam say procurement bi dañ ñu ko dey jox business lego dey ñu jaalé ñeen bagage to ronin a hospital is not cheap honestly is not easy so ñu leen ay gëreem di leen sante ño leen ñu bolé seen biir ba paré di next thing numu bëgg gëreem moy kérawane area council because of ñom ñoo ko yëg a conducive market for us mo nga xamni ñun tamit nañ mëna explore our talent mëna def suñu business numu waré benen bi tamit di military ko so sé de farafene is this we have the second biggest military in the gambia so the military dañ ko xam military xam nañu military mo fonctionner moy for the security of the country so ñu ngi la gëreem di leen sante ci seen taxaw bu yag bu 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 baax bi so benen bi nak moy di police farafene whatever a society needs pour mu fonction mu fi amul luñ manki the police am nañ ni sen for the security of the people tay lo wax wax i don't like but nangam na bes bo amé problem police ngay ñëk dem so ñu ngi lay gëreem di leen sante di leen ñaaral yalla yaa yaa def so benen mo bëgg tank moy di market community suñu market ñu xam ni ñoko bokk ñun ñep because fi lay ñek ci marché bi ak ñom nekkal di joga ka daan because marché ku xam joga ka daanu la rek ñu ngi lay gëreem di leen sante benen bi tamit one of the most important thing li ñu wara ñu bëgg sante moy sun customer because of li customer ñoo ko def du ñun man aw mon xaal mo fa def de customer ñoo ñoo pétronage ñu ñu mëna am ci tuuti ñoo mëna def lu metti kon nak customer ñu ngi lay sante di sante sun staff yi sun ceo lu mëna mëna liggéey so amu staff du leen def so staff yi they are tailless they know work at news with honesty ñu gëm ni is a company because of you vision nekku ni company bu nga xamni da nga ñew tay elel def ko fi dañ is job creation 
nous avons des choses nous avons des nous avons nous avons nous avons nous avons pas Nous son parce
fo ala se fen bondil telephone am bala même se fen keno na saté to o do wala na konté lu musol lam do ko do ko ti say to lañanta ka je ko ñanta roy lañu la lé nga kata na dimbal se ko keno me yalla ko tambi lañu taala o do bessi si nga na dimbal dandala nga duwa fo ala tala man so say ñi bota fanko ñi bota fanko men to a keno ta fo ala sa wayri wandi ning bi ni nata ñun te moto jibe ni tol nata jant to ñaalen ka bataala katu ite la no le nin sa sa to bunkilin ite la no la ni jibo bunkilin anno ni ni la jibo da mati je do la fana bi je fo sa si bante la raid la ba ni nata sutura du la di be si la da men wallahi man fe sota la baraka ko la no da mal sot o to musolu ali nga kata baake kada ale men fo fan sa oke baraka ño kan o mon tol fo da mal te mo Nali ñu ko nal ka ku ke no ñu ke ñu al ka bala fa no ñu yeen ne al ka ñu la sama je no le o don to lewru ta ñu saate to ndam mal to la di ngol wulu ta jang to la be ñu baade la to la ka ñu ko li ka ñu futu ali nga politiko la ni nga teew si di nga na saate do ko nga na bankol do ko o dam ma wala sen to sama no ñaato an o dam ma wala se kayro di non to dam mal la ali nga ñu ko na te yaaba yim dam mal te ma o ta la baraka baake Mr. Chairman, members of the high table, namely my chief executive officer, Mr. Kewa Mane, the chief of of Abadibu and the representative of the governor, Mr. Mustafa Diba, our able principal nursing officer, Mr. Ablai Jame, members of the Babu family, representatives of the various institutions present here, the Imam and Alcala of Farafenya town, Alaji Sambu Yanjan, community leader and friend of this hospital, um, fellow colleagues of Farafenya General Hospital, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, all protocols respectfully and Julie observed. Good morning. Mr. Chairman, allow me once again to inform this gathering that this task, which was a very simple task, has been assigned to myself, but I opted not to say anything today for the simple reason that by looking at the gathering and observing the body languages of individuals, and facial expressions of the personnel present here, particularly the hospital staff, then one would realize, obviously, that there would be no need for a vote of thanks. Because people are well happy. Everybody is happy. Everybody is appreciative of this very, very important philanthropic gesture that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordained on Muslims that a good reward must follow an order. And this has been replicated by almost all tribes and ethnicities. So, the Babu family, that is why I am standing here to just show you and register our appreciation. Otherwise, everybody knows that something great is happening in this hospital. We are all quite aware of that. This is a great milestone for us. And we are indeed appreciative of associating ourselves with it. One would realize that the management, like my chief executive officer said, who had you know, seen the need for this meeting said, actually had a good foresight. But one of the very, very, very important and actual functional, functional, functional person in that management has been moved and is no longer here. But whatever good initiative one thinks of and is implemented, you are part and parcel of that. So we appreciate him as well. Mr. Chairman, we are indeed grateful, for we know the Babu family has manifested humanity, humility, conscience, respect for order, and above all, godliness. That is what Allah has said. That none of your intentions shall fulfill 
unless and until you intend for yourself what you intend for others. And we have seen this manifest greatly in the Babu family. What they desire for themselves is what they desire for others. And that has what has been resulted to the construction of this magnanimous structure. So we are grateful to the Babu family. We are treasured and our hearts are bleeding with joy. Your contributions here has been a clear manifestation by the efforts of the Babu family. This magnanimous structure created only to save and protect life is a testimony that you have concern for people. You have protected our patient escorts from the hazards of wind, rain, coldness and heat by providing them with a conducive and convenient accommodation and shelter. You have made them feel dignified and belonging and this is godliness. Once again, our hearty appreciations. We are quite aware that uh, this activity, this particular occasion today, is witnessed by quite a lot of philanthropists and the business, mem business members of the community of Farafene. And we would appreciate, like my CEO has presented, some proposals here. These proposals are beyond our performance. They are beyond us. We have high aims, we have high intentions for this institution. Great, great ones, but we are limited. And really hope that due consideration will be given to some of these proposals presented here today so that we all emulate the Babu family. It would be wrong and it would be very unfair to always say what my state can do for me. Why not question yourself? What can you do for your state? We all have an obligation for our state and we all have something to do for our state. So we still want to implore on you to see what you can do for your state. As the adage goes, health is wealth. If you are healthy, you are wealthy. So please, I want to still continue to implore on you to emulate the Dibabu family who has done magnanimously to contribute to the welfare of this hospital. So we as a hospital are hereby appealing to all of you with a sound and financial foot muscle to come to the aid of your, in your own institution and people. Finally, Mr. Chairman, I want to conclude by praying that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect, guide, and safeguard the wealth of the Babu family and as well as reward them abundantly for the kind gestures provided for humanity. I say thank you. Jazakallah khairan. Shukran. The occasion is because of the Babu family, the philanthropy, the, the gesture, the goodwill that the family has demonstrated. It is what is expected of a responsible business establishments. It is what we call social responsibility. And therefore, it is their occasion with the hospital. But we are here, the Akubantang Diaspora Association, as partners. Uh, the Babu family should be appreciated for what they have done. And the, important, the importance of the event for Chakubantam is that uh, being uh, the primary organization, the prime mover for Farafinia's development, we have found a new partner uh, in the quest to develop our 10-year strategic plan for Farafinia's development. Uh, we would endeavor to work with the likes of Babu family. So that is the significance of this event for us, uh, the main significance. Going forward, we will have to develop that partnership. There is what we call social responsibility. Uh, a business establishment that is serving the community, but also being patronized by a community. Uh, it is expected that such a business would give back to the community. Giving back 
is a noble gesture. Uh, it's not a, an obligation for the community to give, for the business community to give back, but it is ideal if they could. Uh, they should be encouraged to do so. Uh, we will endeavor to develop partnership with them and encourage them to emulate the example of the Babu family. Thank you very much, um, Sunusai TV. Um, well, um, this is um, a very important achievement in the hospital uh, because it's going to create um, shelter, especially for the escorts and those who are with the patients. Uh, especially during the rainy seasons, you know, patients and escorts used to find it very difficult to have shelter. And we all know that, you know, we have mosquitoes around this hospital. This is not only a waiting shed, but this is a complete house that is built and it's a complete shelter, which is very conducive inside. It has fans, you know, and um, well built inside. So it is going to provide shelter for them. Uh, to me, it is, it is very important and it cannot be overemphasized. So we thank the Babu family for such an initiative. And we urge everyone to emulate the Babu family in trying to giving back to the community, especially in such kind of endeavor.